Anchors away to off we go into the wild blue yonder. The Navy midshipmen football team is just a couple of days away from their season's biggest game yet. The mids are getting ready to host Air Force coming up in front of a sellout crowd. The Navy heads into the matchup undefeated, but this season is about much more than their wins and losses. ABC2 News Sean Stepner explains tonight from Annapolis. The first leg in the chase for the Commander in Chief's trophy is here. For the 50th time, Navy meets Air Force. Always exciting, you know, got a ton of respect for Air Force. It's obviously a, a big week this week. Uh, you can just tell around the brigade. The 4-0 midshipmen host the 1-3 and Falcons on Saturday. Navy is out for revenge after getting swept by the service academies last season for the first time in 14 years. We have a lot to prove. Uh, we're hungry. You know, we, we want that trophy back. You know, we want to beat these guys. It's a really good team. Navy is playing for much more than beating Air Force or beating Army, winning trophies or championships this season. Part of their motivation coming not from the football field, but rather from the hospital room. The mids rallying around offensive coordinator Ivan Jasper and his son Jaron. The 14-year-old has been at Children's National Medical Center in Washington for the last couple of months after being diagnosed with supraventricular tachycardia. His heart is beating too fast. He suffered complications from a procedure in early August and now needs a heart transplant. It's tough being able to come to work, to get away a little bit, you know, and uh, come around football, around the coaches, you know, around guys who I love, who love me, love my family. It's, it, it definitely helps. But obviously, the day, when the day's over, I get back in the car, back to the hospital, reality sets in again. You know, so it's, it's been tough. Ivan drives to the hospital to be with Jaron every day after practice. I don't know how he's done it. I don't know how he's doing. He's put in a full workload. It's hard to be a Division One football coach, and I don't know how he's, you know, going to, well, I know how he's doing it. It's the love of your son. It's been hard, but every single day I have to get up and, and push one more day. Now Ivan's doing some of his best coaching with his son, borrowing a phrase from his team and having Jaron live it. Our model this year is one more, and uh, I told Jaron he's frustrated, he wants to go home. Uh, I said, son, I said, take it one more day. Every single day you wake up, just say, you know what, this is one more day I got to go through this. Maybe something good will happen today. If it doesn't, I'm going to go to bed, wake up the next day, and do it one more day. And so for our family right now, and his team is one more. In Annapolis, Sean Stepner, ABC2 News. And some good happened today. We actually just received word, great news within the past hour, that Jaron is scheduled to be discharged from mm -hmm. the hospital today. How about that? Good That's great, him. huh? All the support and prayers from the team paying off.